Ms. Johnson, how are you today? Good. I see that you're picking up another prescription. It's a refill for your Advair Discus. Mm -hmm. I just want to talk to you a little bit about it and explain what it's for and that before you go today, okay? okay. Uh, so I noticed that the last time you got this refill er, was back in January. Is that correct? Yes, that's All right. right. And how have you been taking that? Uh, I take it whenever I need it, when I feel like my asthma is coming on or okay. before I go play soccer. All right. What about with your, I see you have two inhalers according to your uh, profile here. Do you take both inhalers that way? Yes. Okay. Uh, well, one thing we want to address is that your Advair inhaler is a long-acting inhaler, so you don't want to take it as you need. Okay. okay? You want to take it when twice a day consistently. Uh, your physician wrote that you should take one powder inhalation by mouth twice a day. So that means okay. you should only be using it twice a day probably morning and evening, um, rather than just as you need. Your ventilin inhaler is as you need, though, okay? Okay. Uh, and what did your doctor tell you this was for? Just for my asthma. Okay, great. Yeah, it's definitely what it's for. It's going to help you breathe a little easier, and uh, your long-acting inhaler, the Advair here, is going to reduce some of your symptoms and hopefully reduce the use of your other inhaler. Okay. And what signs, like what symptoms, what did he anticipate that you could expect from using this? He didn't really tell me anything. Okay. Well, let's talk a little about the medication then. So, like I said, it, Advair Discus uh, 100 over 50 is a fluticasone propionate and salmeterol inhaler. What that means is the fluticasone acts to reduce inflammation in your lungs, and the salmeterol. Uh, helps relax the muscles around your lungs, so it works to help you breathe a little better. And, <coughs> excuse me, uh, it's a 30-day supply. Inside there's uh, plastic-coated foil packets to reduce any moisture exposure. Mm -hmm. And, It was written here that uh, you'll take it once a day, but, or you'll take one of the packets twice a day. So you'll be using two packets a day, so it should take you about 30 days to go through the okay. inhaler. Um, some concerns that can be had with the inhaler are that um, it can increase the risk of asthma-related death. Um, it's not very common, and the use of your other inhaler may or may not affect that as well, but okay. it's a rare side effect. So I don't really have to worry about it. I, it's not something that you should lose some sleep over, but it's just something that you should know about. Uh, also, you should know that there is a possibility for decreased bone mineral density, which means as a female that uh, we lose bone as it is as we age. Um, so just kind of supplement with some calcium um, you know, maintain that good bone health. Uh, and you can also possibly see some eye problems develop, so if you see that at all, just contact your physician. Okay. Uh, another possible side effect is that you can develop an infection in your mouth or in the back of your throat. Uh, how this happens is if you don't rinse your mouth after you take the inhaler. So when you're done inhaling, rinse your mouth out, and that shouldn't develop either. Okay. Any mm -hmm. questions about that? Um, I've used it a few times, and I don't really like the powdery sensation in my mouth. Is there any other option for the long-acting inhaler for me? Um, it's something you can talk to your physician about, but okay. this is what he's recommended for now, so continue taking it even though that's a problem for you, okay? Okay, I'll try taking it. All right, and then let's talk about how to use it. So you're going to pop it open. And then you're going to take a deep breath in and a deep breath out, and then you're going to inhale and push down okay. on this thing. Okay. And then you're going to want to rinse the mouthpiece and keep it clean. Um, you should store it in a low moisture environment so that, you know, even though the packets inside are low foil or are covered in foil, that way you're not risking any uh, possibility of losing any efficacy. Okay. Do you have any other questions for me today? Nope, that's it. All right, great. Well, if you do have any questions, feel free to give us a call or call your doctor if you see any side effects or have any problems. Okay, thank you.
You're welcome. Hi Leeds, good to see you again.